This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Wednesday, August 10, 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. 100 billion naira, that's what indigenous pharmaceutical manufacturers and healthcare investors will get as loans from the federal government to expand their capital base, boost local production of medicines and medical consumables. President Muhammadu Buhari revealed this while receiving the new executive members of the Nigerian Medical Association, explaining that the loan was extended through the CBN support to the private pharmaceutical sector and its commitment to revitalizing the health sector. The president said he has directed the Minister of Health to look into ways of turning brain drain to brain gain by engaging top Nigerian medical experts in the diaspora in knowledge and skills repatriation. Enemy President Roland Ojima enjoined the President to ensure full and appropriate implementation of NHRA Act, provision of adequate work equipment, conducive work environment, and necessary budget support, and the elongation of the retirement age for medical consultants to 70 years and 65 years for non consultant doctors and other healthcare workers. The military high command has confirmed the arrest of Owo Catholic Church bombers. The Chief of Defense Staff General Lucky Irabo, who says the joint operations of all security agencies made the arrest possible, listed their names, noting that the suspects are members of the Islamic State of West Africa, East Warp, and are already in custody. Undosed Governor Rotimi Akiri Dolu also confirmed the arrest of five suspected attackers while playing host to the NUG chairman in Undosed Lekia Adekpite. The governor disclosed that the owner of the house where the attacker stayed before the attack has also been arrested. Akiri Dulu also called on leaders of the Ibira community in the state to warn their young ones not to get involved in kidnapping and continue to face the farming trade they are known for in order not to jeopardize the decades-long relationship with the people. Reports say military base in Crimea has gone up in flames, killing one person. Russia appointed regional administrator Sergei Aksinov says the blasts had taken place at the Sergei military base near the peninsula western coast. Footage circulated on social media appeared to show multiple explosions. Russia's defense ministry later said ammunition was detonated, but this has not been independently verified. The ministry said there was no fire impact on the ammunition storage area. The Ukrainian peninsula that Moscow annexed in 2014 is a popular destination with Russian tourists and one video appeared to show visitors fleeing from a beach as smoke rose in the background. And that's it on History for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to YouTube channel News Trail. And always remember that every moment is a fresh beginning. Have a fantastic day.